Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with another game from our uh, Kansas City Royals playthrough. Uh, we are currently in the year 2025, but it started this whole thing. Or no, we, we're in the year 2026, excuse me. But this whole thing started in 2023. And uh, let's just take a quick recap. If you haven't looked at my videos lately or seen the latest videos in this um, <clears throat> in this grouping, so uh, this is uh, the history going back to 2023. We were um, we were 70 and 92. Then in 2024 we were 58 and 104. Then we improved a little in 2025 to 65 and 97, and currently we are 18 and 28. And we will look at the standings. Um, we are currently last in the American League Central Division by one game behind the Tigers and 11 games behind the leading Guardians, who we will be playing today. So, um, and you can see the Guardians are quite good. Um, we will go to the manager's office and see what we've got in news and mail. Um, so yeah, here's the Guardians, the uh, uh, Guardians um, field report on the team. And uh, we are going to get on with the game. I mean, there's no need to delay it. You know what's going on. We are having another bad season. So uh, here are the lineups for today's game. For us, it's going to be Trent Grisham leading off, playing center field. Then Jose Tania will be the second baseman, batting second. Nick Lofton will bat third and be the shortstop. Uh, batting in the cleanup spot is Bobby Witt Jr., the third baseman, followed by Vinny Pasquatino in the fifth spot. Juan Soto will be uh, the left fielder, batting in the sixth spot. He's batting six because he's hitting 182. Uh, he does have a 661 OPS, though, which is mainly built on walks. He walks a lot. MJ Melendez will bat 7th and be the DH. Gavin Cross will be the right fielder batting 8th. And Fernando Villalobos will be the catcher. And today on the mound for us is Brady Singer. He is 3-3 three three with a 441 earned run average and a 116 whip. So he's having a decent season. For the Guardians, they're going to have Miles Straw leading off and playing center field. Uh, Stephen Kwan will be bat second, playing left field. Andres Jimenez will bat third and be the second baseman. In the cleanup spot, you got Alejandro Kirk, and he's going to catch for them today. George Valera will be the DH, batting fifth. Angel Martinez will be uh, the shortstop, batting sixth. Dustin Harris will bat seventh and be the first baseman. Saya Suzuki will play right field for them, batting eighth. You might know him from the Cubs, because he is currently on the Cubs in real life. And Brian Rahio will bat ninth and play third base. And we are going up against Zach Wheeler, who is currently on the Philadelphia Phillies in real life. But in this world of out-of-the-park baseball, the Guardians have acquired him. He is 4-0 on the year with a 215 earned run average and an 096 whip. So it's going to be tough uh, sledding against him. Uh, and, and again, if you're not familiar with my playthrough, I am just the manager of the Royals. I am not the general manager, so I can only go with what players the general manager AI gives me. And we are going to start the game with all of that having been said. We are batting first, so I'm going to swing away with Trent Grisham. And we will get a look at the... Uh, Indians field here, Jacob, uh, Jacob's field, or I don't even know if it's still that, but. So, the leadoff strikeout. Trent Grisham strikes out. Which brings up Jose Tania. Jose Tania, uh, kind of a rookie, uh, first year I can remember him being on our team. At least the first first full year, and he is having a good year. Nick Lofton hitting 284 this year, surprisingly. He flies out to left field. So we have a man at first with two down, and Bobby Witt Jr. is the batter, and he is struck out. So the uh, 
Guardians and Zach Wheeler dispose of our team here really quickly in the first inning. And here is Brady Singer, as I said, 3-3 three and three on the year. Um, not having a bad year. He had a horrible season for us last year. In fact, I moved him to the bullpen at one point. But um, this year he is uh, pitching more like you would expect from a Brady Singer, from a real-life Brady Singer. That is going to be just over Nick Lofton's head for a base hit. So there's a man aboard, and Andres Jimenez is the batter. And we strike out Jimenez. There's two down with a man at first, and Alejandro Kirk, their cleanup hitter, strikes out. So Singer gets out of the inning just as quickly as Wheeler did, and so we're going to the second with Vinny Bahasquitino, the batter. Uh, in real life, he's injured, actually, right now for the Royals, and that is hurting them. But he hits a double to the gap. He's going shopping at the gap with a double. So Pasquatino is aboard. The question is, do I want to sacrifice with the next guy, whoever that is? But that's Soto, and I am going to give him the benefit of a doubt, even though he is hitting 182 on the year. And he hits the ball right down the line, and that's going to be a double. At least a double. And that's probably what it is. Yeah, it looks like it's a double. So he doubles in uh, Pasquatino, and we take a one nothing lead on the Guardians. And that brings up Melendez, MJ Melendez. And MJ Melendez is going deep to the wall. Is that going to be out? It is out, yes. Melendez with a two-run home run, and we take a 3 nothing lead. It's exactly what you want to see from us, especially on Wheeler, as good as Wheeler has been this year, and Gavin Cross is the batter. And Gavin Cross is going to get a base hit. We're just taking Wheeler apart here methodically. Loving it. So he's aboard. There's no outs yet. And uh, Fernando Villabuedos. Villalalebos. I don't know. <laughs> he strikes out whoever he was. He's gone. And that brings us to the top of the lineup and Trent Grisham. And Trent Grisham walks. They walk Trent Grisham. I don't know if you really want to do that. He's not a, that great of a hitter. Not in real life and not here. Jose Tania, though, is the new batter, and he is hitting pretty well, and that's going to be an error on the second baseman. They're going to have bases loaded. We've got the bases loaded, people, with only one out. And that brings up Nick Lofton. As I said, hitting very well this year, but that's going to be a dribbler on the infield, and they will have him at first. I don't think they doubled him off. No, they didn't. He is safe, but there's two down with the bases still loaded. We have to capitalize here with Bobby Witt, and we don't. He strikes out. So he lets us down at a key time. We did get three runs, but, man, we could have had so much more. Brady Singer going back out to the mound with a 3 nothing lead now. And that is going to be a pop-up. Pop-up on the infield. And that is one out, which brings up. Uh, the next guy, let's see what he can do. He is going to ground out to Pasquatino at first. So there's two down. And Dustin Harris, the first baseman, is up. And Dustin Harris is going to fly out. So Singer, nice clean inning there for Singer. He gets out of it. One, two, three. We take our 3 nothing lead to the top of the third with Pasquatino, the hitter. And he let off the last inning. But this time he strikes out. He got a double last time, and he strikes out this time. That brings up Juan Soto. Juan Soto is going to fly out. He doubled last time at the plate, so he's one for two today. And Melendez is the batter. He homered last time, hit a two-run home run. And this time he is going to hit it. Is he going to hit? No, it's going to be a deep fly out. And so we go one, two, three in the third, and we're going to the bottom of the third. Singer pitching to Seiya Suzuki, who currently, as I said, is in real life on the Cubs. He strikes out. That brings up Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio, I think, is a real guy, and, he's, and he hits a soft liner to short, so Brady Singer is mowing him down. Miles Straw, the batter, Hitting in the 280s here, but not in real life. He's not a really good hitter, and he strikes out there. 
So Gavin Cross is the batter here in the top of the fourth inning. We got to get something else going. We're going to need some more runs. This is our division leading team. And that is going to be a single. And that brings up Villalobos. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to bunt with him. He can't get it down. Um, but it's a ball, so I'm going to try it again. That time it's a strike. I'm going to try it again. He hit it foul, so we're going to... Yeah, he struck out. So, one down, man at first, and Grisham is the batter. Walked last time, and he struck out this time. And Jose Tania is the batter. He hits the ball right at the first baseman who makes the play. And it's still 3-0. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Brady Singer still in charge here. Don't really want to get to the bullpen because my bullpen is not that great. The starting pitching isn't too bad on this team. It's better than it's been in past years. So um, we don't really want to get to that. That's going to be a fly ball by Jimenez. So there's one down with a man at first base. Which brings up Alejandro Kirk there. Uh, their um, cleanup hitter. I don't know why he's the cleanup hitter. He's not really a big home run hitter. Not a bad hitter, but he's not a home run hitter. And he does strike out. Singer, though, is getting used up pretty quickly here. Valera is the batter. And he strikes out. So he gets out of the inning, but I don't know how much gas he's going to have in the tank. Nick Lofton is the batter. Again, we need to add some more runs, I think. Uh, that's going to be a fly out to the center fielder, or should be, and it is. Which brings up Bobby Witt Jr. Hasn't done much today, and we need really something from him. And he's going to ground out to third base. So there's two down. And... Pasquatino is the batter. Pasquatino is going to hit a double, another double. That's going to be his second one of the game. And uh, the only question is, can Soto get an actual base hit and not walk or not get out or not fly out or whatever? Come on, Soto. But he can't. He strikes out. I cannot believe how bad Soto is. I mean, he's just gone to hell in a handbasket. I don't know why the game rates him this poorly. Um, Brady Singer is the batter, or is on the mound again, um, and he walks the leadoff batter. We don't need that because he is wearing down quickly here. That might be a double play, and that'll help, and it is. So there's two down quickly now, and that brings up uh, Seiya Suzuki, who got out last time, and he strikes out. So uh, Singer gets through five. Probably can get through six, I think, with no problem. But then we're going to be on, in touchy territory. But Melendez is leading off here. And uh, they uh, brought in a relief pitcher and they walked Melendez with that reliever. The reliever is Trevor Stefan. Gavin Cross is the batter and he hits it right back up the middle for a base hit. Let's see if we can take third on that. No. So it's going to be first and second with nobody out and Villa Labos let's see if he can put the bunt down now come on man get the bunt down so um, that's a strike and we're gonna have him we're gonna have him bunt to try to bunt again this time he gets it down and don't tell me he threw him I threw him out at third so it was a terrible bunt we have Runners at first and second, then still, with one out this time. Trent Grisham up, and he strikes out. See, we can't... This is part of the problem with the team. It doesn't hit um, in key situations, and we can't string hits together real well. Tanya is going to fly out to center, and that is it for us. In the sixth inning, we go to the bottom of the sixth. Uh, you know, maybe Singer's got the seventh in him, too. The sixth and the seventh depends on how the sixth goes. That'll be a fly out to left field, so there's one down quickly. Which brings up Miles Straw back to the top of the lineup for the Cleveland Guardians. He is going to ground. Oh, no, it's an error. 
So that's going to be an error that will put Miles Straw on second base. And that will bring up Stephen Kwan, who in real life is a great hitter, but in the out of the park again, like Soto, he isn't hitting nearly like he does in real life. He's not playing like that. He is out, and there's a runner at second now with... Um, with two down, and that'll be a pop-out. I am going to try to get the sixth out of Singer, at least. Probably shouldn't try that, but... Um, or the seventh. I'm going to try to get the seventh out of him. Trevor Stefan still out there for them. That's a strikeout. Now, of course, if we score more runs, it makes that decision easier, but... Um, but Witt grounds out, and that'll be the second out of the seventh inning for us. And that brings up Pasquatino, who has two doubles on the day. And here he's going to ground out to second. So, uh, yeah, we're going to send, uh, we're going to see where he is. Yeah, he's, he's got the seventh in him if the seventh goes okay. That's going to be a pop-out to first base. Pasquatino squeezes it for the out. There's one down. And George Valera, the DH, is up. And he should be an out. He is. It grounds out to shortstop. And that brings up Angel Martinez. And that will be an error on Pasquatino. Come on, we're having all kinds of problems over there at the first base bag. And, uh, yeah, Singer is just about out of gas. Dustin Harris is the batter. But he is going to ground out to short. And he goes the short way, gets the out at second, and we are out of the inning. So we still have the 3 nothing lead. Now I am going to get the bullpen up. Uh, we're going to get Jordan Romano up in the pen. And we're going to return to the game with Juan Soto, who you would hope would do something here. I think they have a new pitcher in, right? Um, that is going to be a fly out to center. The new pitcher, no, Stefan is still out there. So you got um, Melendez, and Melendez grounds out to first. So that three runs that we got, it looks like that's what we're going to get. Gavin Cross is the batter, and he is going to ground out to first base. He throws it on to Stefan, who makes the play at first base. I'm going to see if uh, Singer can get an out, maybe two here. All right, he doesn't he doesn't get that, and he is probably gassed right now. So I oh he tried for the extra base, and he's going to be thrown out at second. Nice. Well, we will give him a second batter now because there's an out, and he gets a fly ball. He induces a fly ball to center. Now I am going to take him out. Pitcher should be more than ready, Romano, and we will put Romano into the game. Romano on the year is 1 and 2 with a 945 earned run average. So he's not pitching very really well, but he only has 13 innings pitched on the year. Hopefully uh, that uh, he, hopefully he pitches better. I mean, you know, basically. So they get nothing in the 8th. We go to the ninth inning. Would be nice to get a run here. Villalebos our catcher is up. And he is going to ground out to first base. So there's one down quickly. And they do have a new pitcher now, the Guardians do. It's Hunter Wood. Let's see if we can get to Hunter Wood. Could use another run or two. That is going to be a fly out to left, though. And so there's two down quickly here. And Jose Tania up. And he is going to strike out. So it comes down to this. It comes down to Romano being able to retire the side. He's fresh. He's ready to go. That's a ground out to Pasquatino for the first out. And uh, uh, the next batter, he strikes out. That was, I think, Jimenez. So he's out. And that brings up Alejandro Kirk. They're down to their last out. We might win this game 3 nothing, And that's going to be a ground out to short, and we do win the game. So nice. 
needed that. We'll take a look at the box score. Um, so you've got the, uh, yeah, I mean, you got Quan for them was two for three, and um, and Suzuki had a hit, but that was it for the Guardians. But you know, for us, Pasquatino was two for four with two doubles. Cross was three for four, and uh, Singer went seven and two thirds, allowed only three hits and walked one guy. So a really good outing by him. Uh, increases his record to four and three and lowers his ERA to 3.84. Romano went an inning and a third, very clean, and struck out two guys. For them, Wheeler went five. We were all over Wheeler. He went five innings, allowed six hits, and walked two guys and allowed three runs. And then Stefan went three very good innings, and Wood went one good inning. So, leave the game. We'll finish today, and we will take a look at the standings really quickly before we leave. And, uh, yeah, now we're tied. We are tied with Detroit after winning that game. And we're only 10 games behind the Guardians now instead of 11. So 19-28, and 28, 404 winning percentage. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.